the not so Johnny Rotten, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're going to talk about tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Uh, John Lydon, uh, former lead singer of the Sex Pistols, um, he's come out in favour of Brexit and Trump, and you know I like the guy. I'm going to talk about it tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around. Obviously, um, there's a lot of pressure, ladies and gentlemen, from celebrities to tow the um, uh, what you call the official line um, of people within media, which is to, you know, basically centre left. Whatever the centre left decides to go along with is what basically most people in uh, media should parrot. Um, so, you know, I mean, obviously that's Obama to administrations. Obviously, it was to support. Uh, uh, Biden or probably Bernie before uh, Bernie was also cheated. Should be remembered that Bernie was cheated just like Donald Trump has been, but no one ever seemed to complain about that. And Bernie was cheated twice in 2016 and 2020. So, you know, this is what's, this is what's going on. But every now and then there's a rebel celebrity. And um, you know, obviously Morrissey has been one of them. And uh, I could probably do a separate video about him because I love Morrissey. But um, John Lydon um, has come out in support of Brexit. He's come out in support of Trump. Uh, he was asked recently who he voted for. Um, uh, and he said, obviously, I voted for Trump. He, he lives in California, so, you know, he obviously upsets all of the liberals who live there. But obviously, the guy has a reputation for being an iconoclast and for being somebody who, um, you know, goes against the grain. So I think to some extent he gets away with it and um, still maintains his celebrity. Um, um, so that's a good thing, you know. And uh, you know, I really like, uh, I've always really liked John Lydon. Um, I liked him when he was in the Sex Pistols. I, mean, I wasn't a huge um, fan of the Sex Pistols, but I, I, I really admired the kind of do-it-yourself aspect of punk that I, I've applied to my own film work and to my own running a film festival. I admired that just go out and do it kind of attitude of punk, even though I didn't necessarily li I liked, um, I guess, what would be called the um, new wave music of the early 80s and like the new romantic electronic music. This is the kind of music I loved early on bands like Depeche Mode when I was very young, an early teenager. I got into this kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. But I always admired John Lydon. I'd also like the solo career of John Lydon. And very early on, John Lydon spoke out against Jimmy Savile. I, and I even remember hearing that back in the day. And well, I, I just thought Jimmy Savile was some weirdo. Um, I mean, I thought he was a weirdo because at least I had to look at the guy to know he was a weirdo. But like he said, you know, he was very seedy. He, he basically gave many hints to what we now all know about Johnny Savile. So he's always been someone who speaks the truth to power. And uh, I really respect him for that. And, um, you know, I think it's very brave the way he's come out. And I'll try and put a clip from this video that he uh, he was on with Piers Morgan. And, you know, he said, don't interrupt me. I'm going to say what I want to say. And, and basically the two journalists shut up and let him, let him speak and say his piece about Trump. He said that, um, you know, basically politics is flipped that in you know in his day the left was more connected with um like helping the local working class but that's completely changed because um today's left has gone with kind of sucking up to the elite class and a kind of elite politics and that you know uh, johnny rotten john lyden um is is a lot more he supports the working class and because that's the kind of class he came from and he says that clearly trump is the man for that he supports middle america and um you know he, he's you just watch many of his videos online and you know there are other articles about John Lydon. His wife has been ill um, for some time and like, he's been taking care of her for the past like three or four years. Like for somebody, you know, who was once reviled as one of the most revolting men, um, you know, because of, you know, he was very wild when he first appeared with the Sex Pistols. He's somebody who seems to have maintained a personal integrity and a personal um, authenticity, which I think is, you know, deeply admirable. And um, I, I really admire John Lydon for doing that. I admire him for speaking out. And I think we all should congratulate him for being the brave person he is and that sure he's a loud mouth and you know I don't agree with every single thing he's ever said but like um you know I just think I, I think he's brave and he needs to be congratulated um and I think his views on Brexit and Trump um, are spot on and um you know we should all be listening to them and um and it's very brave clearly for him to be making them as a major celebrity so that's all I wanted to say the not so Johnny Rotten tonight on the report for Tiger Mountain